In London in 2012, we're going to have one extraordinary year. There's going to be a huge amount of activity going on and it's, um, we're going to have the global attention um, of the media will be upon us. It's really important, therefore, in the cultural sector that we really think about how we present ourselves and that we're extremely organised and pre present uh, a clear picture of everything that's going on in our city and the creativity that we produce here. Um, Therefore, we've produced the Culture Diary. It's, it's London's first online um, diary which aims to bring together everything that's happening in the cultural sector for a whole year and we're going to be launching it a year in advance of 2012. We're asking the cultural sector, therefore, to let us know about anything that they're planning for 2012 from January onwards um, and it can be um, any, any scale of activity. Um, it's an inclusive tool, so whether it's from the subsidised sector or the commercial sector if it's small or large, whether it involves um, one people or a million people, we're asking people to register their event on the Culture Diary, which is the culturediary.com. Um, the, the tour was launched in June 2010 and will be closing on the 31st of December 2010. So it's really important that you tell your colleagues and your partners about the Culture Diary and encourage them to really register anything that they're planning for that year. Whether it's confirmed or still in the planning stage, it's important that we collect the information and that we can start to really get a picture of what's going to be happening in that year. We'll then use the information that we collect to create a London-wide culture cultural promotional campaign to really highlight and give a platform to all the activity that we create across our diverse city. So if you could just make sure that you tell all of your colleagues and your partners and anybody that you're working with that might be involved in any kind of cultural event that they must head towards www.theculturediary.com to register their event and make sure that they're visible in 2012, one extraordinary year.